Assalamu alaikum. This is Mr. Ahmed Khalifa. Uh, today I'm going to take you to another A star email rating. So, this is email rating, a star email rating number two. Let us read the question. Uh, your friend is coming to stay in your house next month to look after it while you and your family are on holiday. Sure, you have written that before. Write an email to your friend about staying in your house. So he's going to come and stay in your house. In your email, you should, number one, tell your friend where she or sorry, where some important things are in your house. This is very important. Ask your friend to do something for you. Suggest what your friend can do in the area. We have got here, as you can see in every email writing, we have got three bullet points. We need to cover them, preferably in three body paragraphs. I would never say two paragraphs are bad, but three body paragraph, that would be great. Short body paragraph, that would be fine, okay? So remember, we need to cover. Now we need to tell your friend where some important things are in your house. Ask your friend to do something for you. Suggest what your friend can do in the area. The pictures above may give you some ideas, and you should try to use some ideas of your own. So remember your own ideas. Okay. You should write between 150 and 200 words long okay the best email is 190 maybe that would be great but don't write please don't write 150 150 you won't be able to develop the ideas to cover the bullet points here so please don't write less than 180 190 200 okay those people who always ask if i wrote like 210 I mean, that's fine, but don't just write that much because you have got like what some dotted, limited dotted lines. OK, so you cannot exceed. You are not allowed to exceed as a matter of fact. OK, let's go to the. The star model answer, I call it star. Dear Omar. Thanks again for agreeing to put our house in your keeping. Underline this, and this is what this is a good idiomatic uh, phrase. Instead of saying like what looking after, looking after our house or something. Okay. Again, and I always say this: if you want to get a star, please try to ensure a link between what between the introduction and the body paragraphs between the conclusion and the body paragraph okay the main idea or the idea of what of the whole email writing so let us read it again thank thanks again for agreeing to put our house in your keeping while we are away simple i'll make this quick because we are leaving we are leaving for the airport in a few minutes and my pesky sister jude is wailing like a banshee we have got here pesky sister my annoying disturbing sister jude is wailing like a banshee banshee like what bad spirit she's crying like a banshee okay like a banshee sorry She's crying like a banshee, like a bad spirit, okay? So here is what you should know about our house. As you can see here, he's quite specific. Uh, um, he's trying to, to set up, to pave the way for what he has to cover in the body paragraphs, okay? So the link here, I can tell that the link is insured. Thank you. Let's go to the first bullet point and we need to cover it here. 
tell your friend where some important things are in your house. Let us see it here. The key bunch of the entire house, all the keys of the house, is in the black cupboard in the kitchen. There you will find our new cell phone numbers we are using during our holiday in Paris. Even the numbers of uh, the new phone numbers, cell phone numbers, you will find them there as well. You know, my mom's clean freak. My mom's a clean freak. She's mad when it comes to what? To cleanliness. So please use her hoard of cleaning stuff in the attic if you spill or stain something. So if you did something wrong, so please use her what? Her supply of cleaning stuff. Okay? So in case you stain something or you spilled something on the floor, as you can see here, I covered pretty well this bullet point. Tell your friend where some important things are in your house. And I think I used um, uh, idioms, uh, like, uh, for example, here, uh, a clean uh, freak. A clean freak. Uh, uh, I used um, hoard off, very good vocabulary, right? Um, and also, uh, I answered or I covered the bullet point. Let's go to paragraph two, and let us cover this point, which is what? Ask your friend to do something for you. And I need a favor to remember this. And the use of and here, though we don't recommend to start the close or the sentence with and, but in the beginning of the paragraph it is important because again it ensured what? A transition, a smooth transition. Sort of coherence and cohesion between what? Between the paragraph, paragraph one, but the paragraph one and this paragraph. And I need a favor too. Record the next episodes of TBBT, the Big Bang Theory, please. I know I only started watching it last month. As you can see here, it's full of what? Creating interest. I created interest. I used some personalizing uh, sort of uh, uh, phrases, okay? Um, uh, I know I only started watching it last month. But I should admit, it's really cool. I love Sheldon, one of the characters of the episode. And I'm not sure I managed to sit in front of the TV in Paris. Why? Huh? Again, takes us back to the what? To Jude here. Because Jude will make sure it's action-packed day and night. Like the trip is action-packed day and night. This is a really good expression, idiomatic expression, like what? She wants to enjoy um, you know, like what sightseeing and everything, and the, I mean, all the, 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 the um, I mean, like what, it's a trip, it's a trip, and she wants to enjoy every bit of it. Anyway, again, the last body paragraph here, I'm trying to cover what, so just what your friend can do in the area, what your friend can do in the area, let us see, and we start with we start with what, huh? remember? We start with anyway, again, in order to what? To link. What you can do in the area or in the house. You can go through my movie collection. If you go off the boil, huh? if you go off the boil, if you feel, if you feel bored to tears or what else, if you still remember, if you feel, huh? at a loose end. So, if you feel bored to tears, if you, if, if you go off the boil, or better still, whoop it up with cot. Whoop it up means what? Huh? Enjoy. Enjoy your time with Call of Duty. The Xbox and we are still hooked to the TV, plus my skateboards in the basement. You could go to the skate park with Manson. I mean, that's what you can do in the area, what you can do in the house. 
I think the point is quite what covered. Then let's go to the conclusion. Conclusion shouldn't be that long. Even the introduction shouldn't be that long. I have to rush now. I've to rush now. I think I've already lost about a million brain cells. A very good expression. What do you mean lost about a million brain cells? I mean, like what? Um, I mean, I mean, you have had enough uh, due to the incessant or the endless what complaints and voices of your of your sister Jude. I lost about a million brain cells because of Jude's shrill voice, crying voice. Call us if you need anything. See you in a week. Then love, and then you just write your first name. Okay. I think this email is or deserves uh, the, 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 the A star, that's for sure, simply because um, um, everything is there. Like personalizing phrases is there, personalization is quite clear. Um, uh, using idioms is quite clear. Using relevant idioms, the idiom that I need, I'm not just, just bombarding um, uh, the examiners with idioms which are irrelevant, okay? Uh, using some good vocabulary, as you can see, pesky, as you can see, uh, what else, uh, uh, hoard off, um, um, using uh, some expression that depicts, depict the, 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 the um, I mean, um, creating interest, that, that's very clear. And the most important thing, I have covered those three bullet points, okay? Uh, in that case, uh, I'll give, huh? I'll give myself 16 out of 16. Thank you very much.